Don't stay too long. I need a little ah, a little ooh, a little o, oh, and I'm knocking on wood. Honey, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's so hard to be good. I'd rather be blue, thinking of you. I'd rather be blue over you than be happy. Somebody else. Will I be good? Will I be bad? Don't be a fool, you fool. My little flat, I'm turning that into a Sunday school. While you're away, I'm here to say there'll be no ice man there. And sing in the blues, I'm gonna use nothing but frigid air. I'd rather be blue, thinking of you. I'd rather be blue over you than be happy with somebody else. Blue over you, I'd rather be blue. Than be happy with somebody else. Thank you. Unfortunately for us, the film that Fanny Bryce made in 1926 entitled My Man is one of the lost films. Nothing exists of it except a synopsis. And the fact that Streisand sang I'd Rather Be Blue and Funny Girl. And in the course of that picture, she sang that song 20 years before it was written, so who knows. But the late, great Winnie Leitner. Winnie Leitner did not make a lot of films for Warner. Uh, she also co-starred with Shirley Temple in a couple movies, just like Gloria Stewart. Um, but Winnie, Winnie was a buxom babe, a belt soprano. She was zoftic. She was not the 20s figure, so she never had the chance to be a leading lady. Um, if you think of the early Bette Midler, you kind of have a representation of what Winnie Leitner was like. But in her first movie, which was also a Technicolor film called The Show of Shows, Winnie got to sing this little song that Joe Burke and Louis Silvers, the Warner's composers, in-house composers, wrote especially for her. I'd like to add, this is the only time you'll probably ever hear this song. Warner has no record of it. ASCAP has no record of it. So here we go to Pingo Pongo. East is east and west is where I want to go. Island that I know on some nameless sea where the BVD is the native costume. Come with me and see, oh, King Congo of King Congo. He is the boss of the whole shebang. Each night he has the whole gang sing Songo in Ping Pongo. And each little ping has punk pet, and they're not hard to get. And when some missionary get unnecessary, they eat him up in Ping Pongo, where King Hongo rules with a ping pong ball in his hand in Pingo Pongo land. Minus coat and minus pants, you should see his highness dance in the land of Pingo with funny lingo. And he has 47 queens built like super submarines who can shake their tambourines all for the mighty dingo. Say, never mind their morals. Say, what have they to hide? The women dress in corals and the men keep satisfied for King Congo of King Pongo. Once every year all the maidens there come to the palace where they go wrong go for King Congo. And he likes to see all the fair females shake their hills and dales when he says walla walla. Mm -hmm. That means come and follow the king up to the king's quarters, the king's orders. And that's where I lost my monkey gland in Pingo Pongo land. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, 
I think that Joe Park and Louis Silvers deserve a round of applause for that, and hopefully we'll get that song known. And sound films took off tremendously, and basically they were all little musical films or musical reviews. And Al Jolson's second film for Warner, The Singing Fool, he had another one called The Singing Kid. There's going to be a quiz on all this later, so you got to keep them straight. Kid came before the fool, okay? And in that movie, which was actually less dialogue than the jazz singer, but a lot more singing, um, Al Jolson said to his band leader, Louis Silvers, that he was going to sing a little ballad now, to which his band leader replied, you know, you can't sing a ballad. You're screwing. Ballads aren't your forte. And Al Jolson said, well, many a screwy guy has sung a ballad before, so go on and play it. Well, I'm going to do a little ballad now, same as Mr. Jolson. Call me screwy. Lovers depend on moonlight for their the morning dew each thing depends on something and I depend on you I can be happy I can be sad I can be good or I can be bad it all
Yeah. That song was written by a couple of composers in a hotel room in Hartford, Connecticut, when Al Jolson called them and said, we need a song for this movie that we're doing called The Singing Kid. It's about a little boy who dies. And well, the songwriter said, OK, let's put every maudlin cliche we possibly can put into one song. And it'll be a big joke on Warner Brothers Studios. I think the joke was on them. That record became Al Jolson's first number one hit single. Um, aside from his love of mother and the South, kind of strange for a nice Jewish boy, um, Al Jolson movies contain many instances of love of children. In The Jazz Singer, the first sound segment contains this song that I'm about to perform. And it is the first song that Jolson sang in a Smile is as cute 
as can be, making noise, breaking toys, always fights with the boys, but his eyes are a vision to see. setting sun from the gate he starts to run and I kiss my boy dirty hands dirty face little devil they say but to me he is an angel of Won't you 
you sing that song for me? Sing me old Black Joe, just as though you heard me on your knee. A million baby kisses I'll deliver. If you will only sing me Swanee River, rock on. Here. In 1934, Warner Brothers decided that the uh, Al Jolson musical film needed a little bit of a boost. So they hired their greatest in house director, Busby Berkeley, to direct the film version of Al Jolson's stage hit, Wonder Bar. Now, there are those of us that say that uh, this collaboration between Busby and Al was not a very good idea at the time. Uh, the song was called Going to Heaven on a Mule, and in it, Busby Berkeley put in every single stereotypical cliche he possibly could of a pickaninny heaven, complete with dancing watermelons, a pork chop tree, roast chicken groves. Needless to say, when the film is shown on television nowadays, the Going to Heaven on a Mule sequence has been cut. And we're, I don't have any watermelons with me tonight, but we're going to do the song, because we don't really think that the song was the reason that the movie flopped. Just Busby's genius got a little too much of the better of it. Since I was a little bitty baby, I rode an old Missouri mule. And that's the only way I'm ever gonna travel. I'm a superstitious fool. And when the good Lord tells me I have sung my closing song, my soul will still be on that mule a jog right along. When I pass away, judgment day I'm going to heaven on a mule an old Missouri Strutting to the tones of saxophones again. And I'll roll a lot of sevens when I roll them bones with Emperor Jones again. Yes, sir, with a glory be. I'll be glad to see Abe Lincoln like he used to be. The man who set me free. Yes, I'm going up to heaven on a Missouri Mule. Thank you. That was fun without the watermelons, wasn't it? <laughs> With the failure of Wonder Bar at the box office, Warners had to come up with a very good reason to make another Al Jolson picture. And they found that reason, and she was married to Al Jolson. Ruby Keeler was the number one female star at Warner at the time, thanks to 42nd Street. Now, Ruby Keeler was a mere teenager. It was one of those kind of weddings. <laughs> and she couldn't dance. She couldn't sing. But she had spunk. 
and the audiences seemed to like that. So the next logical step was to team out Jolson, their number one male, with their on bigger than Al Jolson, Mrs. Jolson, Ruby Keeler, in the depression film, Go Into Your Dance. If you have melancholy case of the blues, I've got a remedy for you. If you've an ounce of rhythm down in your shoes, I'll change your point of view. If you singing a sad and blue song go into your dance until you've learned how to sing a new song go into your dance don't be complete And if it's raining, dance in the rain a while. Put off your sorrow until tomorrow. Go into your dance. Don't be complaining. Learn how to smile. And if it's raining, sorrows until tomorrow grow into your dance you can do it go Jolson's second big number one hit, which he sang in a number not directed by Busby Berkeley, but with the Berkeley panache. He sang it to his wife, Ruby Keeler, and it became his number two hit record. And learn. 
Al Jolson, after going to your dance, made one more film for Warner's called The Singing Kid. And it kind of did nothing at the box office, and he became a character actor starring in Rose of Washington Square and Hallelujah, I'm a Bum for other studios. Until 1946, when Columbia Pictures decided to do an autobiographical musical film called The Jolson Story. And Harry Cohn, the president of Columbia, called Al Jolson and said, hey, we want to do your life story. Come in and audition. <laughs> Needless to say, Al Jolson didn't get the part. It went to a young man named Larry Parks, who was Oscar nominated for his performance, and who was later blacklisted during the UAC trials. But Larry Parks' voice was provided by Al Jolson. He went back and re-recorded all the songs. And in the final scene of the Jolson story, on a long runway in front of a massive audience at the Winter Garden Theater, Al Jolson can be seen in long shot, singing a song that he never got to sing on film, but it was a big hit for him on stage in the play Sinbad. <laughs> It is song time, the banjo strumming soft and low. I know that you yearn for me too. Swanee, you're calling me. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I'd give the world to be among the folks in I even know my mammy's waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swanee. The folks up north will see me no more when I get to that Swanee shore. Swanee, Swanee, I'm coming back to Swanee, mammy. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I'd give the world to be among the folks in a DIX. I even know my mammy's waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swanee. Your wondering child will wonder no more when I get to that Swanee. by the folks at Barrest Saraband Re Records, who gave this song to a young tenor named Michael Piontek to perform. Now, to me, this song is not unsung Irving Berlin. It is unsung Al Jolson. Everything is okay. Why, 
Here's the sun shining bright. I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. Why is my heart feeling light? I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. Why did I buy something nice at the store? She'll adore, can't you guess who it's for? It's for someone with hair growing white who's happy because I'm on my way home. Not so sweet are things that you chew when you eat. Upon a choo-choo, they keep opening cans. I've got different plans. When it's time to go to supper, I'll just climb into my upper till the morning, and then I'll start eating again. I'm on my way home. She'll adore, can't you guess who it's for? It's for someone with hair growing white who's happy because I'm on my way home. I've been shopping and I'll put you wise. I've got packages of every size. Here's a half a dozen knitted ties for my brother and another. Here's a parasol, it's very plain for my pretty little sister Jane. Here's a nifty little walking cane for my father, but I'd rather not tell you what. But there's one package more that I bought at the store. Can't you guess who it's for? It's for someone with hair.